but he's he's kind of the last man standing from that old four draft class. You know, Eli's benched and Ben's hurt. Do you do you marvel at a guy like that to be able to play this well this long? Yeah, but I'm really not surprised. I, I've I've known a couple of players that have, you know, I've coached against him quite a, you know a few times and always kind of knew it, but then I've also had some players that played with him uh, when he was at San Diego uh, and just said he is the ultimate competitor and just every day is competing in practice every game. You can just tell it by his demeanor. Guys like that, and it's like Brady too. I mean, you know, he's got that little boyish charm to him, but he's a fierce, fierce competitor. And guys like that that are fierce competitors like that last a long time. How much more difficult does it make when you compare his anticipation to Keenan Allen's competition? Well, it's not on Keenan Allen. It's 86 and 30 and 81 and, you know, and Benjamin. I mean, they, they got really, really got a talented crew. But, you know, 13 is really a special receiver. They're all good, but he's really a special receiver. And, and those two guys just, they got it going. I mean, they, they really work well together. He knows when he's going to break. Allen is one of those receivers that's unique in that he has a change of pace to him that's just different than other receivers. I mean, he, you know, he can stutter off the line and then burst on you. He can burst and then stutter. He's, he changes pace all the time. I mean, there's receivers that are fast. There's receivers that are just good route runners. He's, he's a combination of both. I don't know what his overall speed. It doesn't really matter. He gets open. And, the thing of it is, is half the time the ball's already in the air when he makes his break. So those two work together as good as any tandem I've, I've seen. How was Simmons yesterday to get him out there in the mix? It was great to see him out there. I don't really know. You'd have to ask him how he felt or whatever, but I just, it was good to see him out there. What, how much different can you guys be with him in the mix when he's ready? Would never know until he played. I couldn't answer that question until he played. I'd be unfair to him to say it and then unfair to everybody else so i have i have no idea we'll just have to wait till we get him out there when we get him out there and see how it looks how much what, did you watch that? of him maybe coming out in the draft and wh how what's his potential as far as a player if he gets being healthy and himself well i mean he was he was a first round draft pick i mean coming out i mean he was what he not only for us i mean i really thought he would go if, if he'd stayed healthy he probably would have gone very very high and uh but again, I, I think, Jim, you know, it's really kind of unfair to always say a guy's potential. I mean, uh, guys get so much trouble talking about guys' potential and then you know, how you're going to live up to it, how you're not going to live up to it. Uh, I mean, we got a bunch of undrafted free agent guys that are playing their butts off. Well, nobody thought they could. And then you've all seen guys that were high draft picks. Do I think he's a talented guy? Yeah, he's a very talented guy, or we wouldn't have picked him where we picked him. So, but. I think any time you talk about where a guy can be, until you've seen him do it, I don't know. I don't know. What, what is, uh, again, I guess you're talking about his potential, but what could he give you in terms of versatility, just a, a guy that big with the skills that, that he has? Well, any time a guy's a big guy up front that can actually play well up front, any time against the run, that's going to be good. Any time, I mean, it, the pass. Uh, I've been blessed to be around a bunch of guys that were big and, and mobile like he is that played very, very well, and obviously it adds a lot to your defense. Again, just, you know, it's unfair to Jeff to put him in a position uh, coming off an injury to say well, what he's going to be able to do, how well he's going to be able to do it. We just aren't going to know until he plays. What about uh, any, any guesses as to maybe snaps, how much time he gets early on? Or that could be just I don't even know when he's going to play. So let alone guess that how many snaps. I, I don't, that's not my decision. That's between John, or John, um, John, Mike, the trainers, when he shows up, he shows up, and we'll put him in there. What, what kind of relationship do you have with your punter? And do you say something to him sometimes that, hey, you, you, you helped us out here? By uh, I'd like to take him and his wife to dinner anytime <laughs> they want. <laughs> he is incredible. He is incredible. I told him one day he walked out the hall, I said, you know you're the most valuable player on defense. I said, he is He's incredible. Hey, he's, I've been around some good ones, and uh, he ranks right up there, if not the best. I just uh, – He's he's excellent. How much is the missing tackle in this draft kind of worries you? Well, obviously the edge rusher. That's why we brought him here. And uh, you know, he, it's uh, guys. I thought the guys that have filled in have done a good job. And um, hopefully we get him back. We'll wait and see. But you know, it, it's always nice having him out there. You feel like you got a, a little different four-man rush than maybe you normally do with when he's not there.
that uh, some of the guys that defenders have been talking about maybe increasing turnovers. Is that one of the, the few areas that you can really get better uh, in terms of what you're doing? Well, we can get better in the red zone, too. We can also get better at not giving up a big play every day on game. And, um, but, uh, yeah, we, we need to bat more balls down if we can't get a chance up front, uh, get some more turnovers. Uh, we've tried on a few of them. Guys have tried to hammer the ball out, just haven't gotten it out. But as long as they keep doing that, eventually – It'll come. But, yeah, that, that's one of the areas we'd like to stress a little more is get some more turnovers, get the offense a field position, and, and uh, get them the ball. Where, where does Ron Tannehill maybe challenge, assuming you, you, just, you drew up a defensive plan against him when you were in Baltimore? Mm -hmm. Won well, against him quite a few times in my yeah. For some, some reason, we always played them almost every year, it seemed yeah. like. Yeah, last year as well, too. Uh, what, what kind of challenges does he give a defense with his ability? Well, I think Ryan's got a strong arm. I think he reads coverage well. Uh, you know, he's – I don't – I can't really say, you know, necessarily based on our system because I don't – you know, that's that's totally different. So um, – but he's, he's, a, he's a smart guy. He's a strong guy. Throws the ball well. I think he's a – you know, he's a talented quarterback.